Leave me alone. Get get a life, dude. All right, all right, all right. We can go through the waiting room. You mean Miss not appearing in this film? She's not appearing in this film. Oh, this is a terrible plan. Blink. Oh no, thank you. Good thing I never have to go back ever again into the art room. Ah. Uh. All right. Let's take a second here. Weather band has some bad news. I don't have to go back into the art room. I know I don't. You can't trick me. Ooh, that was weird. For a, for a moment, it defaulted to controller controls. It would not switch back. I left the shotgun upgrade in the art room. You're a liar. See? Blue. It's blue. I don't have to go back into the art room. You can't... You can't fool me. <laughs> Alright. So now... What do we have that we didn't have before? We can now open our box. And combine the... The jemmy gem. Is there anything else in here? West office is blue. We're good here. Whew, okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I want to hit up my box is what I want to do. So. We can put... That away for right now. We do need all three. We have them. We can now do some good work with those. I guess we'll combine this with this. Even though it's a thing you hold on to, so I don't really understand understand what they think that does. Does this take nine millimeter bullets? It does. I guess we could switch over to the handgun. We have thirteen bullets for that, and we have nothing going on for this. And we could make more handgun bullets. There we go. I feel a little bit safer now. Let's take out the bejeweled box. And let's examine this. Be doop. Perfect. Combine it with this. It opens and we get to play my least... Oh, it's the stars badge! That's way better than I thought it was going to be. I really thought it was going to be one of those stupid portable safes that I hate so much. There we go, turn it into a USB stick. Anything else I want to take with me. Can make additional handgun bullets, that might be nice. We should probably take some healing with us. That'd be smart. Alright, we'll make a few more bullets. We'll take healing out. There we go. RPD, Raccoon Police Department. With a raccoon emoji, very nice. I like it. Right, right. Let's uh, combine these. Let's combine those. All right, we have four inventory slots. Let's head upstairs. We have a pretty nice lead 
on Mr. Stompy McStomperson. Yep, this is the way I want to go. Oh, I'm missing something in that hallway. I don't like that I could hear him stomping about. Alright, get it all. Get it all fast, Claire. Grab. Let's get the submachine gun as quick as we goddamn can. Grab those bullets. Grab that. It's that fun, I'm on vacation, having fun. This does not sound like Chris. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I left the dongle! No! <laughs> Shit, uh, hmm. I heard him enter what I think is this hallway. It might be a floor below. Let's just grab it and go. I think we're okay. I think he's a floor below us. You can There is no shotgun upgrade in there. You can't fool me. No! I need my knife back. The hell out of the way. You bastard. Knifey knife. No, knife broke. No, here's knife. Knife, please. Oh. Ooh. All right, I've unlocked. I haven't unlocked this door yet. And it's checkmarked. Oh, that is glorious to see. Well, he's here now. I should have brought the medallions with me. Hey there, fly. Okay. Let's just take a moment. Catch my breath. Disable notification sounds and steam real quick. There we go. Alright. Now we won't have the boop doo boop noises. Let's see. Got the dongle. We already used it. My box is far away. Art room's done. We need the crank still. Okay. Start down here and work our way back up. Can't get into the records room. I'm pretty sure it's just medallion time. We need to use the medallions and get out of here. Yep, yeah, that sounds right. So it's really just a matter of getting to a box. We get to the box, we'll get our things. Loop back around. Hop in here. Oh no! Why, Jesus Christ! Okay. Fucking... 
Fucking lord. No, Claire. Do not dare not heal. I think he just opened the fucking door. Okay. Run. God damn it. No! Oh God! What a great shot that was. Run! I can hear the clicker clack of his stupid claws. Oh boy! This is why I brought two. I didn't really have time for walking past slowly, is the problem. Because he was here. And we knew he was here and we were running away. Okay. My box is over here. Unfortunately, he's fast enough that I don't think we have time. We're gonna try anyway. Okay. We need this, this, this. We got here large capacity. Let's store that away. Don't need the key. Yeah, Mr. X starts very early in Claire's story. Like, immediately. He's here from the very beginning. So we're already in fucking Chris's freaking out and running away constantly mode. So welcome to the party. Let's uh, take some submachine gun ammo with us because we have a submachine gun now. Okay. It's all right. Let's just take a second. Deep breaths. We're going to hold on to the badge because... We know where the key is to that. I believe we could use this. Right? Does that combine with the submachine gun? It doesn't. That's just... That's useless, I believe. I think that's just for friggin' uh... Just for Leon's gun, isn't it? For the JMB HP3. Like, we don't... We don't have that gun. We have the quick draw Amy. <laughs> quick draw army, not Amy. <laughs> And we have uh, our various samurai edges. We have a revolver. And what I thought it would hook up to, but it doesn't. Okay. We have to be very quick. Yo, oh, very quick, please. All right, our best exit. Lounge through the library. Or do we want to do third floor? Nope, this is the way. Past the star's office, I think, is probably our best route. And we're not leaving anything behind here. There's still something in the hallway. Back behind us, but Mr. X is too scary. Alright. We've killed the zombies that were a problem in the library. That's nice. Some machine gun o'clock. One! Master Zombie actually, uh, he died very early on this run. Didn't even get to do his banister trick. I also got to watch Mr. X backhand a zombie, which was very funny. Alright. Gunpowder? Sure. More flame rounds? Love it. We don't have that yet. Mr. X come down here? 
I hope he doesn't come down here. Store that. We'll hold on to the handgun ammo. Alright. What we have going on now is fine. Let's save for the second time. And down we go. Fuck you, Mr. X. God damn. God damn. And now we can get the, the secret weapon locker that's down here. We didn't do this last time. Go get your good drink, fly. I wonder what goes over here. Use. Oh, right. Uh, examine. Put that away. And now use. A suppressor! Oh, boy. Totally worth it. <coughs> Mr. X will never hear me coming. Alright, there's also a grenade in here. Let's pick up that grenade. Right there, on the floor, Cleric. There you go, you did it. So there's a door out here. I don't remember if there was something else we could do through here. Might just be a dead end. Oh no, there's definitely stuff. I guess door first. Enjoy this brief reprieve. Yep, locked. That's what I thought. Or Mr. X chasing us constantly. You don't wanna, you don't wanna call out hello. Surely we don't have to do that boss fight because Leon does that boss fight. That'd be crazy. Welcome back, Fly. You'd have to be a small child to fit through here. Claire would later offhandedly say that her shirt wasn't very pretty, and that would hurt her feelings. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. <laughs> what? No. Oh, oh God. That's her dad. Leon's supposed to do this, not me. You gotta be kidding me. Boys ain't gonna cut it with this. Well, you don't know until you try. I mean, it's true. I would save in all the. Oh boy. Oh, come on, he was swinging the. It's alright. <laughs> Surprise grenade. I've been holding on to all of these bullets from my submachine gun f just for your stupid boss fight. See you later. Oh crap. Oh god. Oh, 
Oh yeah, submachine gun makes this fight a lot easier, it seems. Alright, put me back in control because there's a lot of things I want to pick up here. Hey. Little girl. It's safe now. It's over. How'd she get up there? Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Oh. Your mom is got down some, here? Got some bad news about your mom. I think so. Although she is technically still alive. So. Oh, you'll learn all about this little child as we go. Of course. I'll help you. Nicely done, child. Alright, pretty sure we still got bullets we can collect in here. And you know how I feel about bullets. I love them. I love them so much. Grab that. It's not another Resident Evil 5 or 7, is it? No. Not this time. The Leon route has the Ada subplots, and the Claire route has... Oh, I forgot her name. What the hell is her name? I say Emily, but I don't think that's right. I don't believe that's her name. But I just don't remember. Ah, oh, come on, just let me stack. All right, let's combine our reds and our green. Blue, blue. We should just put a grenade in her mouth now. That way, if she turns to a zombie later, we're ready. Like, see? Preparedness always pays off. This way. You don't tell me what to do. You're a child. I'm an adult. I can go where I want. Uh Well, we're done with this, so... Discard. Yes, I said discard. Then I can just find this on the floor later. More things to pick up? Alright. Don't see an easy way to make room in my inventory. But I don't want to leave a green herb behind. Well, step one's always reload every gun. Alright, is there anything I can leave behind? Handgun ammo? That seems like a terrible idea. A grenade? Leave a grenade behind? Healing's a little bit more premium than... And one zombie go away moment. And this makes me bullets. Yeah, Claire starts with so many gun choices. It's pretty crazy. I have a bunch in my box, even. Uh. I guess we'll just leave it there for now. There might be a box up ahead and we can just turn around. Come on, box. Box, uh, no box. It won't move. It's because you're a child. You got it. Yeah, I'm bigger than you. Calm down. That's why Claire's story is so much more impressive than Leon's story. Leon is a, f a cop. That big pharmaceutical company? So obviously he has training and he's prepared to a degree. Claire is a college student. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. At this point, she's just coming to visit her brother. Yes. Store. Some good, good storage time. 
Store that away, store that away. Do I have another blue herb in here? I don't. A shame, but not too much of a shame. He's gone. Wow. Both of my Oh yes. Parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Also, your dad was the monster we just pushed off a cliff, and your mother is responsible for this whole problem. Leon is better, and what is the quick draw army, says Fly. So, uh, these are like the... you pre-ordered the game, and you got these. But we also started with finding a quick draw army pretty fast. Which is a .45. And that's what, uh, that's what these bullets are for. At this point, I have more bullets for that. We'll swap later. I'm still happy with that. She just licked her lips looking at you. Wherever Chris Redfield is, is where Claire's brother is. I mean, yes, Claire's brother is Chris Redfield. Now let's go back and get that goddamn herb. I mean, right now, we we know where Chris is. Because Resident Evil 2 takes place basically along the same timeline as Resident Evil 1. So Chris is at the mansion. Or potentially under, under the mansion at this point. Where is Chris? He's playing Resident Evil 2. Ha ha! Yeah, Chris Redfield, uh, I imagine he's at the mansion with Jill. Jill Valentine right now. They're, they're doing the Resident Evil 1 thing. Leon and Claire are here doing this. And then they all meet up uh, in later entries. Store that away. We'll just hold on to a full heal for the time being. Keep some bullets. We'll keep a grenade. We could make some more submachine gun ammo. Yeah, let's let's make one more pile of submachine gun bullets. Which means he's at the Resident Evil 7 mansion at the moment. No! Because we find out during Resident Evil 7 that the events of Resident Evil 2 are canon, obviously, but uh, they take place in the past at the point of Resident Evil 7. Like, they were talking about a city trying to heal after the events. So we know. And at that point, Umbrella's already been dissolved. You know? Like, uh, they are part of the new version of Umbrella. The, the anti-bio people group. Well, the joy of Resident Evil is, like, all of the games are interconnected and has one strong, if ridiculous, plot... <laughs> running throughout the whole thing. I probably should save. Well, now we're not gonna save. They do get kind of ridiculous. I mean, the core games are relatively fine. Resident Evil 7 comes after Resident Evil 2, you didn't know that? I can't tell if you're doing a sarcastic joke about how numbers are sequential. It's closed. But the Resident Evil series does have some convoluted, like, this takes place at the same time as this, and this is actually a prequel to that. Oh, you really didn't know? Yeah, if Resident Evil 7 uh, takes place Later on, you find newspaper clippings talking about the events of Resident Evil 2. Uh, a lot of the events of Resident Evil 7 are motivated by wanting to have a different bioweapons program that'll compete with uh, Umbrellas. Like, it's a different corporation at that point. Why do Resident Evil 5 and 6 exist? <laughs> they are stupid and make no sense. Uh, the answer is Resident Evil 4 made gangbusters amounts of money. And they wanted to cash in on that, so they basically made the same game two more times, just without 
you know, the charm or or the joy of Resident Evil 4, which is still one of, if not my favorite Resident Evil game. Resident Evil 5 sort of tells where Chris is. Resident Evil 5 is, is one of his stories, yeah. And yes, also Jill. Although that is... So I believe during Resident Evil 2, Jill and Chris are at the mansion, because Resident Evil 2 and 1 take place roughly at the same time. And then Resident Evil 5 is later on. I think Chris is in both 5 and 6, isn't he? He just gets more and more jacked as the franchise continued on. I think I'm happy with what we have in our inventory at this very moment. And we will also save, because we've only saved twice so far. This way, this way. I will admit to being not as familiar with uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6 as I am with other entries in the franchise. I own the Revel uh, the Revelation games. I haven't actually played the Revelation games yet. Are you, are you just going to stare out this great lady? Come on. Leon is in 6. That's right. Leon does come back and Ada as well. Yes. Damn it. We need a key card. And we don't need to be attacked by dogs. Listen, if we take you apart, we could slide you piecemeal through this gate. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? That's her name, Sherry. I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Well, we don't want to trust this man. Leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. Can't be serious. Whoa! On the ground. Now. Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie her. What a great police chief. Okay then. Oh, this is the tie chief of the police station. She dies. This guy runs the place. If you Assume he is implicated in the events of this game. You're very right. Child endangerment for starters. Sherry, come here. Did a great job, yes. None of your fucking business. You heard her, I swear to God, my brother is stars, and I will fuck that. Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Claire. Uh, stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Wait, this stop. is your job? Let me go! Let me go! Obviously nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Oh, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! <laughs> what you missed is uh, we met up with Sherry, Sherry Birkin, and the police chief showed up, roughed us up, and stole the child. And now we're on a revenge mission. Okay. Key card first. And that asshole gets what's coming to him. Goddamn right he does. Very excited to rough that bastard up. Oh, it's not in our inventory. Kind of expected that to be in our inventory. Oh, I hate the parking garage. Because it connects to the kennels. Which I hate because it's filled with zombie dogs. That door is just open. Well, that's where he came from, I guess. All right, anything in here? Let's look for goodies. Oh, that's cute. You think there's going to be no more Mr. X? For a while, yeah. Mr. X will come back in the not-too-distant future. Because Resident Evil 2 knows the one thing that makes me shit my pants in fear is a large stompy man. Yeah, no, this time we know what we're doing and we won't waste forever. 
Yeah, Claire's uh, B story is is much more fast paced. Yeah, map. You like map? Raccoon Monthly, June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes! Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right! It's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals. Everywhere and stern fathers... <laughs> scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of his sinful citizens. What the fuck? Who wrote this? Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we've missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Irons said with a soft smile. That bastard is the police chief? Yes, he is. I do like that you find this little uh, express elevator to chief's office, not for general use. I love that you find uh, that article that basically point by point is like, he's he likes uh, supporting the orphanage. He just threatened and stole a child. He uh, supports uh, the battered women's shelter. He just battered a woman. Like, <laughs> he just undoes anything that you find out about him. It's my favorite part. Oh boy. So I've got the kennel there. Generator room. That's gonna unlock the door for this. Let's let's do the other way first. Chief Brian Irons loves slapping people around after he threatens them. It's his favorite thing to do. So this is locked, I'm pretty sure, but I'd like to have it on my map as locked. There we go. That makes me feel better. Let's begin the fun of the kennels. That is... weird. It looks like there's a, a zombie ostrich over there. Oh, it's a liquor on the wall. Oh. Oh. It's a liquor on the wall. It's not an ostrich at all. Well, now I don't like this place. There is, in fact, a liquor on that wall over there. I don't want to go there now. Equipment disposal notice. Bend key. Yes, yes, I remember. We could open that car. Examine. There we go. I mean, if it was a zombie ostrich, I'd be pretty excited. A message from Mr. Raccoon! We're not gonna read that again. Alright, we need the diamond key. Oh, it's already broken. That's kinda neat. I guess you only need to find them once, depending on, uh, regardless, I should say, not depending on who you play as, regardless of who you play as. A zombie lion or a gorilla. I'm happy that there is not zombie animals. Although, as a child, my favorite toys were, were the alien toys from the movie Alien and Aliens. And I love them because you can get, like, alien versions of different animals. Which I thought was the coolest thing in the world. I love that. I'd like, oh. It's gonna go out here. So I had like a, a toy of a, a rhino alien. I had, had the giant spider queen face hugger. That was a good one. Boop, boop.
Jessa Bauer says, uh, <laughs> Outbreak was a thing. That's true. They did have some neat stuff like that. Hey, we got the JMB Harry Potter 3. I have a way to make that a cooler gun. Oh, it's a 9mm. Well, alright. How does she have so many variations on 9mm guns? It's crazy. Let's, uh, take a little journey here. I am not telling you I'd rather fight a zombie xenomorph. I'm just telling you, I thought the various uh, animal xenomorph toys were the coolest toys in the whole world. Let's take out our high capacity mag. Let's put this away. Let's combine it. That. All right, now we have a, a cooler, a cooler pistol. Oh, with a laser! Oh, hell yeah! Wow, wow! It's a very nice handgun. What if there was a mod to turn liquors into xenomorphs? I gotta say, one of the reasons why I was so excited for this game on PC is there are going to be wacky ass mods that I'm very excited to check out as they are developed. Laser shark. All right. Well, at this point, we have no choice but to go down the hallway that has a has a liquor. Raising all four vibes. Yes. All right. We have choices here. We could we could sneak past the liquor, but Mister X, motherfucker. We know Mr. X will come back. And this hallway will be a hallway we're going to be stuck with. <laughs> JC Bauer says, Are you telling me they're going to make a mod that'll turn all the zombies into laser sharks? I hope. I hope there are such creative mods as that. Where did it go? Did it go into this room? That's not fair. The liquors are tornadoes. Hey! Sharks with freaking lasers on their heads. <laughs> that is that's quite the death pose he chose. He died like he lived. Contorted into a weird shape and jiggly. Oh, hey there. And you lean back up again. Do do do. Gonna pop out here for a moment. I think he might be right over there. The shit is it? Stop it! You've got to stop that. Damn it! Uh, 
Dead liquor dog tree pose for extreme yoga people. There you go. I think we got it. I, can't, I cannot stop with this guy. You're the worst. Put those legs down. Much better. Why are there more liquors for Claire's playthrough? That doesn't seem fair. I must commit all death for. How do they all die like this? Put your legs down. Creeping me out, man. 16 liquors around the corner. Oh, thank God, there aren't 16 liquors around the corner. Hey, do I have a knife? I have a grenade. I don't have a knife. Can you... Can you fucking fall down now? This gun is great. Killed that zombie in a mere 17 shots. Let's open a bunch of dead body cabinets. Nothing in there. Someone put a plant in here. That's a very strange place to put your plant, but... You know, you do you. <laughs> They're doing yoga for relaxation. I stress them out by shooting at them. It all makes sense. <sighs> There's those big roaches that, for some reason, the game is keeping track of how many people see them. Which I find very funny. Why did they freeze the plant? For fun, says Ultimate Noob. <laughs> JC Bauer says, now that we've established that uh, liquors are zombified extreme yoga people, what else can we assume? We could probably assume that tyrants are bodybuilders, just like Fly just said. Very nice, Fly. Oh, uh, I read an article. Uh, they're keeping track of uh, very weird statistics in this game. Uh, some of those statistics are how many people see the giant roaches, which I think is funny. Like, they, they're actively keeping track of that. Do you have anything on you? Nope, still no things. Back in you go. Hippies are plant zombies. Alright, good. Gotta open all of them. This one of these guys has a thing in his hand that we want. Don't move while I'm shooting you! There we go. This is not the guy with the thing in his hand. I like uh, Fly's suggestion that Mr. X is a personal trainer or a bodybuilder. He's here to get you fit. He was a corporate stooge. Autopsy record. Right, right. I guess uh, Leon's already gotten that item out of his hand because... Or maybe it was this one body that we, we didn't fully explore. Nope, not that one. God damn it, where is it? This gentleman right here. Nope, he doesn't have anything in his hand. It says I'm still missing something, but 
What? Where? Literally how? We've definitely explored everything in here. All right, um, we'll just go ahead and be very thorough, I guess. Definitely nothing in there. Nothing in there. This is the lady. No, nope, lady's over here. She didn't have anything on her. What am I missing? I don't understand. How am I missing something? Map, please. Weird. There's definitely something in this goddamn room. Hey there, Owl. Welcome back. You're very late. So very late. It's okay. That's the morgue. Generator room is through here. We need the crank. No one has missed Wander Song. We've been doing Resident Evil. You're safe. You're safe. We can't get to the generator room. I'm gonna slap my microphone around a little bit. We don't have the key we need. I think I'm definitely missing an important thing in the morgue somehow. Which is weird. Because what else could there possibly be? I'm just gonna fully extend every one of these. Hi there, book lover. How's it going? Wait, you're in a steel drum band? That's cool. Alright, nothing over there. Hey, thanks, Jason Bauer, for the, the bits. <laughs> I'm glad we're all celebrating the giant roaches. Your soul is a steel drum band? That's very specific. You played the bass drum, nice. Well, now the game's just fucking with us because that's every tray pulled out. We've touched all of these things. And it still says there's a key in here. But where? It's right. It's right there. I could see it. Give it to me. God damn. That was tiny and hard to see. But our time here is finally over. We're done with the morgue. Okay. So, that means we can go into this room, over there. Pistol, yeah, we'll continue using pistol for a little while. What did you miss? Well, we started Claire's playthrough, which is just immediately much more terrifying than Leon's playthrough. You missed some extreme yoga done by the liquors, yes. No! Oh! Where the hell did this come from? Don't you dare get back up. Son of a bitch. It was a very red liquor. They don't have skin, so I imagine that's why it's so red. When Leon came through here, there were just dogs. When Claire comes through here, there's like 37 liquors. Not fair. Thank you, Owl Lover, for the one spook.
Ah, oh, great. They woke up. Whatever. I don't even care about you guys. Well, you always need hot chocolate. That's just a fact of life. Hot chocolate makes everything fundamentally better. Oh, you guys coming in to visit? Come on in. Bye, I guess? Nice for you to drop in. Oh, there you go. You figured it out. Alright, we want the pistol. No, the pistol! And the door closed now, please? Ugh. Shit. Why is the door open? I don't understand why it's stuck in the open position. There we go. Leon killed- he killed all the dogs on his way through, and then the liquor showed up to eat the dogs. It all makes sense. Enjoy... your lunch. Oh, he's blocking the door! Oh, that's a different door. Screw you, then. I don't need to fight you. What did I get in there? Nothing I need, I don't think. Oh, it's elevator controls for us. That scared you a little? It's a scary game sometimes. They're very good at being spoopy. Huh. We have film we could develop, but that requires us to go back into the police station. Thank you for the double spoop, Owl Lover. It's true. With the liquors, if you if you walk, you don't run, you're calm. You can get by them without too much trouble. You have no bits and you can't get any, and you're sad. Are you not allowed to watch ads? Is your country barred from the ad experience? That's sad if so. Oh right, we gotta go in here. Duh. Not for general use. Grab some plant. Ooh, shoulder stock. No room for that. It's part of the ad experience, but it never gives you any ads. Oh, it's possible? Not sure if that's the case, but it's very possible. There we go, we'll turn it into a three color. Weird. <clears throat> if you have an ad blocker, that might that might be responsible. I know sometimes I have to I have to change which browser I'm using to do certain things. All right. Well, our grenade launcher now has a stock. I don't think it needed one, but now it has one. Our inventory's full again. Alright. Just because I don't want to leave anything behind before we leave. How's this looking? We are done here. We could take our elevator friend. Beep boop. Oh no. Now we're where Mr. X's crap is going on. Stompy friend. I don't want to deal with Stompy friend again. It's just a little rain. It's okay, Claire. You know what? Yeah, combine. Do it. It's convenient. There's, there's a lot of animals in here. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Believe Chief Irons. Believe Chief Irons. As thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum in your account to use as you see fit. 
I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to do and everything will be all right. WB William Birkins. Police Chief Irons, you're up to... <laughs> you are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're Umbrella employees. I am so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. Oh, jeepers. That's a good way to store your, your wine. Oh, a box. Beautiful, beautiful box. All right, let's put that away. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and combine these. Have some more ammo for that. We could develop that roll film now. We'll put one of these away. Ooh, I'm being hosted by, by Ad Astra. Taxidermy log. White-tailed deer. Place of capture. Pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger. God, this guy sucks. I nearly came... Whoa, gross. I thought I was reading that wrong. I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm guts spilled out. I still smell of wild beast. This is the life. Gross! The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over. And it's all mine. Forever. Gross! This guy's the worst. Hey, Kendra Co-op. How was your stream? Did you have a good stream today, buddy? More submachine gun bullets? That's good. Ooh, a lot of submachine gun bullets. All right, so that's everything in here. I'm happy with what I have in my inventory. <laughs> Krios. Krios says, hey, I thought we didn't kink shame here. <laughs> We're going to kink shame Police Chief Irons because he's a monster and he deserves to be kink shamed. Ooh. I don't want to go back into the police station. It's scary out there. Private collection room. So maybe we're not allowed to leave through here? We're not. That doesn't make any sense. This is the inside of the office. Here's his Siberian tiger he was so, uh, so fond of. Hey, Kendra Co-op's raiding. Thanks very much for the raid, Kendra Co-op. Much appreciated. Oh, no, I I'm king shaming police, police chief irons. Who is a monster in every way and deserves to be ridiculed and shamed. The tree posing intensifies. What do we need here? Oh, we need some of those electric parts that uh, we needed for the clock tower in Leon's run. A dodo? He killed a dodo? What a monster. Repair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one on the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. He's dead. He's very much dead. <laughs> you left it a jiffy because you had to pee. Hey, that happens all the time. Don't worry. East storage room. All right. Well, east storage room is important. Why would you look at that? There's still something in this room, huh? I 
how conveniently he left the spare parts. How conveniently they're left in like some random ass room somewhere. East storage room. Linen room. Balcony. West storage room. East storage room. East storage room. That's where we have to go. <laughs> Let's examine this. Oh, that's easy. Now we have the key. All right, do I want to put anything away before we start striking out? Let's put away the gunpowder. Nice. Yeah, capture cards are a lot of fun. It's really nice to be able to play, play some console games sometimes. All right, let's put that away. What kind of capture card are you using that you're you're running into those kind of issues? Uh, do I want to hold on to some extra bullets? Oh, I can just reload and that'll solve that problem. Ah, oh, four bullets, huh? All right. That'll solve itself if we just use our submachine gun a little bit. Elgato HD Pro Onboard. Ooh, fancy pants. The Twitch app has a built-in broadcast feature. I mean, how are you going to capture the console without a capture card? Like if we're using the Switch, for instance, how are you going to have your your Twitch broadcast that? I do know for like the PlayStation 4, for instance, you can you could stream with the built-in feature of the PlayStation 4. But for the Switch, I do believe you need some kind of capture card. I mean, you don't need to stream to show me, you can just tell me. Oh, I didn't bring any boards with me! Alright, this is the clover key if I recall. Yep, there he is, breaking through the window. Whatever, I don't, I don't care, it's one zombie. What does that emote even say? That is Trodingus wearing a, a Mario costume yelling why. Because that was basically, uh... That was the Chaos Mario experience, was me screaming why Mario a whole bunch. Alright, now if we reload this... There we go, inventory... Now has an extra spot. Let me out. Yeah, uh, for capturing consoles, some of them do have built-in sharing experiences. Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, but the Switch does not. So you do need a capture card for the Switch. Have fun playing Gloomhaven. I panicked! You Fuck you! Ooh. We all knew something was in this room. We just weren't sure what. <laughs> you knew it was coming and it still scared you. I knew something would be in there. Didn't know what. And yes, it definitely scared me as well. Just like liquors always do. Confiscation report. 6 to 11. Is this a new save combination that I didn't have already? Nope, I had this one. That's for the second floor waiting room. We've already opened that one, I believe. 
We shall call all liquors Bob. Bob is still scary. As someone that uh, watched all of uh, all of Twin Peaks and knows knows that Bob is a terrifying entity. All right, let's play everyone's favorite game. <clears throat> Chris is terrible at this. Oh, oh, is this this one? Oh my god, so that's that. Alright, so it goes... Boop, boop, boop. Where's that one? Alright, so... It's boop, 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 boop. Fuck. And then that one. Alright, so... Boop. Boop. Ah. Boop. 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 Ah. Boop. 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 Ah. No! My god. Oh, a new record. <laughs> Abe wouldn't do regular yoga, let, away, let alone extreme yoga. Well, yes, that is very true. He would definitely not. All right. There's still something in this room that I want to take with me, isn't there? Yes, gunpowder. Anything I can do right now to make room for that. Not really. Interrogation room. I can go upstairs. You know what? Let's take a quick, quick trip back into the chief's office. Oh, that'd be nice. Zombies are coming at you, just give them a body. Would probably take up a lot of inventory space, though, so that'd be a problem. Chief's office, perfect. I mean, that's why she was keeping that child around when you get right down to it. Store that away, store that away. We'll store these away. Because... Where we use them is first floor, safety deposit room. So we could up the box that's in here in order to use that and this also is the dark room so like everything we need down there we have a box right next to it so we don't need to carry that with us but I want to go back down also there's something in this hallway probably on the other side of the shutters let's finish up down here before we go up we're very thorough I, I could board this up, can I? Yep. I have boards. I could board it up, but I didn't bring those with me. <laughs> Even though I didn't have to do this. We knew it's a clover. I think I'm done down here. I think I just wasted a few seconds of my life. Yep, observation room. Oh, right, the gunpowder. Fucking on, brain. We came back for this very reason. Give me your gunpowder. What? Book lover wants to know what our current goal is. Our goal is to get to the east storage room. Which is right... Right here. We need to get to this room. I guess our long-term goal is, in fact, kill the boss and don't die, yes. Boiler room... Can't do that just yet. And this is also probably a good time to save the game. You know, it's been... It's been a little while. Is this our third save or our fourth save? I think this might be our fourth save. Also, let's put this away. 
Our fourth save. That's fine. And also, I need to pee again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I drank a lot of latte before starting the stream. <laughs>